does girth similarity affect Ehrlich's ability to jerk different dicks simultaneously? Shit, yeah, I think it would. One of HBO's most unique shows, Silicon Valley is filled with hilarious moments that stand the test of time. Hey, Zach. Not hot dog? Welcome to The Rewind. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 funniest moments in Silicon Valley. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for good luck. Number 10. The Bro App Actually, it's just half a word. I know. So efficient. In Season 3, the guys create a dating app called Bro to compete with a rival company's app. The humor lies in the app's hyper-masculine and absurd nature. While the party goes on, Dinesh goes out of his way to spread false propaganda to turn people away from donating to the app. This includes absurdly fake translations for bro in different languages. Things like rapist and a man's dildo. In Urdu, bro is actually short for brukhtavr, which means a dildo for a man. A man's dildo. Number 9. The Carver People refer to me as The Carver, but no one actually calls me that. It's uh, what people call a screen name. You know, I'm Kevin. The Carver was one of the highlights of Season 2. Jared's attempts to boost Pied Piper's reputation is a comical and over-the-top subplot. Richard isn't sold on the idea, and the same can be said when he meets the Carver, a boy named Kevin, in person. What's it gonna take, a blowjob? Because Richard will suck the dick right off of your pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. Russ Hanneman Pitch You're trying to date a woman, but deep down in your heart you know you're gay. Uh... But deep in your soul you know you would rather be plowing a dude. Russ Hanneman's character in Season 2 brings plenty of laughs, and Richard's pitch to the potential investor only stirs the pot even more. Not only does he wholeheartedly convince Richard he's been gay his whole life, his constant swearing and pointless takes makes this entire scene unforgettable. And this is the man that you want to fuck, then you need to fuck him. That man, I will pay you to fuck. What the fuck is that kid? Number 7. Nucleus Fails The picture's so... Blocky. It looks like Minecraft. It doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be totally lossless. Ah, yes. Who could forget the most amazing finisher in UFC history? Well, everyone who watched the live broadcast sure did. Powered by Nucleus, the event was supposed to be a flawless image, but it ended up being choppier than DSL Internet. In all my years of watching fighting, seen a finishing combination more ferocious. What a spectacular finish by Molina! Number 6. The Pied Piper Naming Debacle I thought we were going to replace the name Pied Piper. I thought it was just a placeholder. Placeholder would honestly be a better name than Pied Piper. Throughout the company's run, it turns out their name is already associated with a company in California. The guys take a minute to come up with a new name to replace Pied Piper, with Ehrlich suggesting that it should sound good enough to be yelled during sex. Ooh. Hulu. Exactly, right? Pied Piper! Number 5. Always Blue. Always Blue! 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 Through numerous season finales, the Always Blue scenes were the pinnacle of Silicon Valley. It might have been weird the first time around, but it's since become a series staple that caps the show off in just the right way. Number 4. The Driverless Car <sighs> Driverless Car In a world of Ubers and Lyft drivers, one can't imagine a day where AI decides to take those jobs for themselves. This became an unfortunate reality for Jared when his driverless car takes a slight detour from Jared's destination and sends him to a remote island instead. Excuse me, can you help me? Obstacle averted, resuming operations. Please be careful. Number 3. Ehrlich Slaps a Kid Hey! Which one was it? It was church candy, wasn't it? You just brought piss to a shit fight, you little... 
after a failed attempt to get the Adderall they need, Richard comes crying to Ehrlich. We then see what's probably the wildest and most heroic thing to ever come to television. Ehrlich slaps a child in broad daylight and scares him senseless until he gets the Adderall they're looking for. I'll kill your mother, I'll rape your father, I'll curb stomp that little face so hard that your teeth will go flying, you little shit! Number 2. Jin Yang's Not Hot Dog App Holy shit! <laughs> yes! It works! Huh. In Season 4, Jin Yang creates an app that can identify whether an object is a hot dog or not. It's a hilarious take on the idea of a useless yet amusing application. Eh? That's… that's it? It only does hot dogs? No, and a not hot dog. And number one, the D2F algorithm. Not by height, technically. The measurement that we're looking for really is dick to floor. Call that D2F. Rather than discussing urgent matters, the guys go off on the most notorious tangent in TV history. The D2F algorithm is collectively hypothesized by the guys in order to find out how efficiently they can jerk off everyone in the crowd to avoid giving their presentation. This results in terms like tip-to-tip -tip efficiency, among a few others. I would still be able to jerk it off in one smooth motion, I would just have to jerk it on an angle. And that's gonna be it guys, what did you think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss any of our future uploads.